If your FortiGate has a built-in hard disk or you're maybe attaching a new hard disk to your FortiGate, then you will benefit from this command coming up. Your FortiGate hard disk is used mainly for logs. It can also be used for web optimization, but it is used mainly for logs, for cache files, for quarantine files, and so on. So let's look at uh, the very first command, which is the execute disk list. Now the execute disk list will actually show you the different hard disks and partitions that you have. There's a better command than this one. I will show it to you very soon. But the thing is, if you wanna use the execute disk format or the ASCII execute disk scan, that is to format the disk or to scan for errors and repair them, you must use the reference number. So if I'll use execute disk format and press enter without uh, uh, the reference number, I will have an incomplete command. Now, there's another command, which is the DIG hardware device info uh, disk. Now, here you will see both the partitions that are used for boot files and the main disk that is used. You can see the uh, size of the partitions. You can see if they're mounted or not. And you can see they're labeling either SDA1, SDA2, and SDB1 for my main disk. Now, the hard disks are used mainly for uh, logging. So let's enable a logging on the hard disk itself and let's see the different options. So to configure log settings on your hard disk, you will use the config log disk settings. Now, if you set the status to enable, then all logs will be saved on your hard disk. If you set it to disable, logs will be will not be saved on your hard disk. One thing to note, you also need to specify on your firewall policy that you wish the specific either security logs or any logs to be saved. Another thing that you can save is the disk full either to overwrite or no log at all. That is when your disk reaches its full capacity, do you want to overwrite older items or do you want to stop logging? Now you can play around also with the maximum log files if you have issues with the size of your, of your hard disk. And you can also play with the different types of logs that will be saved. To do so, you will config log disk. And here, instead of settings, you will use filter. Now, if you'll see, if you'll use the get, you will see that uh, currently just about Every log is being saved, either logs that are forward traffic, that is the traffic that is passing between the different interfaces, the local traffic, uh, the anomaly logs, the voice over IP logs, and so on. So you can choose that, the forward traffic, which is something that you will not choose, but for the uh, uh, our demo purposes, is disabled. Or you can choose that the sniffer traffic is disabled and not enabled. Another thing is the severity level. Now, you do not only decide which logs can be saved or not, you can also decide at what severity level. Now, the current severity level is information, but if you set severity, you can play around with the different severity levels, critical error, warning, notification, and so on. So you do not have to have all logs at all severity levels, choose the ones that are critical to your business.